Let's review Ohm's law. Ohm's law is written as V equals I times R, I equals V divided by R, or R equals V divided by I. What does the V stand for? You got it. V stands for voltage. In this equation, what does the I stand for? I stands for current. What does the R stand for? R stands for resistance. This diagram really shows well how those three quantities relate to each other. The voltage is the push that pushes the current through the system. Voltage is here shown by Mr. Volt. The current is shown by Mrs. Amp. Current, the unit for current is Amp. Then there's the resistance. The more resistance there is, the tighter or the more difficult it is for the current to go through the circuit. If there's very little resistance, lots of current can go through the circuit. So the resistance really determines how much current can go through. Let's take a moment and compare the electric circuit to a water system. On the left we have our water system and on the right we have our electrical circuit. The water system has a pump that pumps the water through the, the pipes. Um, then we have the water flow, it's the water going through the pipes. And sometimes we have an obstruction like a nozzle or a clog in the drain. Could be a bunch of hair in the drain. What in our electrical circuit best compares to our pump? That's the voltage source, the battery, also called the electromotive force. What in our electrical circuit best compares to the water? That would be current. The current is the flow of electrons that goes through the circuit. What in our water system would best compare to our electrical system as the obstruction? That would be a resistor or any load device. It could be a motor, light bulb, LED, etc. Let's take a moment to look at this circuit. In this circuit, we have a 3 volt battery and a 2 ohm light bulb. What will be the current when the switch is closed in this circuit? First, identify what you're solving for, then substitute the numbers, and then calculate the answer. Piece of scratch paper, use that. The answer is 1.5 amps. I equals V over R equals 3 volts divided by 2 ohms equals 1.5 amps. Let's take a look at this circuit. We now have two light bulbs in series. Each of them have 2 ohm resistance. The voltage is still the same. What is the total resistance of this circuit? The answer is 4 ohms. The total resistance can be calculated as 2 ohms plus 2 ohms. Because they are in series, we can simply add them. So the total resistance is 4 ohms. How will the current change if we have that second light bulb in series with that first light bulb? So first we had one light bulb and we calculated that we had 1.5 amps. Now that we add another light bulb, how would that change the total current? Excellent. It would decrease the current. Why? Well, there's more resistance in the circuit now, so there will be less current because the voltage, the push, is still the same. Now we have placed another light bulb in parallel to our first light bulb in parallel. Each light bulb has two ohms resistance. How will the total current, so all the current that goes through the circuit, change if we have that other parallel bulb in the circuit? It will increase. As a matter of fact, it will double. Think of the dam and the water flow. If we open up another door, we now get twice the amount of water flow. 
So in this case, we have another parallel part to our circuit. So we will actually get twice the amount of current flow in this circuit. Now we're back to our first circuit where we have a single light bulb, but in this case we have 6 volts instead of 3 volts. How will the current change if we have a voltage of 6 volts instead of 3 volts? It will increase. We have now twice the push, so we would actually have twice the amount of current going through this system. Let's take a look at this diagram. What will be the voltage of the battery? Identify all that you need, so what are you solving for? And take a moment to put it all together. The voltage is current times resistance. The current is 0.48 amps. The total resistance is 10 ohms plus 15 ohms. So 10 plus 15 is 25, so 0.48 times 25, that will give you 12 volts. Did you, count, did you add up the two resistors first? Did you identify the current correctly? If you did, you should have gotten this answer. Now what could you do to increase the current going through the light bulb in this same circuit? Choose all the options that are correct. The correct answers are increasing the voltage, because by increasing the voltage we are increasing the push of the current going through the system and that will result in more current. We can also decrease the resistor to 5 ohms, because if we have lower resistance that will increase our current. Adding another light bulb in parallel will actually not change the current in our current light bulb. So that would not work. I mean, the total current would be increasing, but the current through that light bulb would not be increasing. And adding another light bulb in series would also um, reduce, or actually would increase the resistance and therefore reduce the current. Similar question, but slightly differently framed. How will the brightness of the light bulb change if the 10 ohm resistor is replaced by a 50 ohm resistor? Think it through carefully. It will become dimmer. We now have a total resistance of 65 ohms compared to the 25 ohms that we had earlier. Greater resistance means less current and less current means dimmer light bulb. Thank you for reviewing Ohm's Law.